Eddie, there's something, there's something we need to talk about. What's that? Are you properly insured? There's life. There's home. And there's car. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Phil Carrion. I'm Eddie. Let's talk about my front bumper. Let's talk let's about front that. bumpers in general. So this is a front bumper. So let's say we were out trailing with Overland 4 low. We're minding our own beeswax. And then BAM! Deer, right in front of you. Rudolph, crossing the road right in front of you. What happens to your car? Well, hopefully nothing. Rudolph's the, the little guy, right? Yeah. Um, Maybe you didn't hit him that bad. You know, these guys are kind of immortal. He was starting to take off, so he just kind of clipped his legs. His red and, nose is still on. Yeah, we call in for Santa. Santa's on his way on his sleigh. It's all good, we're good. Uh, we might get a lump of coal for Christmas. Um, but we did what we could. He came out of nowhere and everything's good. Yeah. We're back in our truck. We're moving along. And then you hit Chewbacca or Bigfoot. What's gonna happen to your car? Well, if, if you did hit a deer or you hit Chewbacca, the first thing you would do is go, dang, my car. Now, you don't have a bumper. What happened to your engine? Gone. Gone. Total. Yes. I just got that replaced. Yeah. I'd be so mad at Chewbacca. I, this, is, I, this is what I'd say. I'd be, I'd be right back at him. Hey, Kevin, just what trail are we on? <laughs> so as an overlander, as an off-roader, the front bumper is number one for insurance. You get that so that you protect your investment underneath the hood. You don't see these things out on the freeway. You do have people dart in front of you. You do have people who aren't paying attention driving because they're on their phones or they're, they're drinking their coffee or they're just generally distracted and bored or they're just terrible drivers. They end up in front of you and you unable to stop. Yeah. And uh, you hit them. And you hit them. And if you're protected, or if you have a front bumper... That's the first point of impact. Say you're out with Manila Squad. Yeah. And we're on the way to the theater to watch Dune. Yeah. But you get stuck in a sand dune. What the heck? What's going on with your life? Then you bring out all the food, the panse at the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get yourself out of the sand dune? Your tires are spinning. You can't go forward. You can't go backwards. Well, you got your front bumper we can attach some stuff to. Yeah. Well, if your front bumper had a winch, you can rescue yourself. You, you can attach yourself to somebody's car. There you go. They can pull you out, or you can winch yourself out. There's a difference there. You can just winch yourself together. And there's the Dodge Ram. That thing's huge. How much does that thing weigh? I don't know. Let's have them winch me out. <laughs> yeah. I would say, if you're a serious off-roader, even a casual off-roader, to have a front bumper to have a good, stout, quality front bumper. Just like mine. So let's go over to my truck. And this is a steel bumper. The other ones that are available out there are aluminum. It's got the essentials for the most part. It does protect everything up front. It doesn't have the, the small grilling in here. It will protect against big animal strikes and um, it will protect what's going on inside the engine, especially if we are going at fast speeds and you cannot get out of the way, especially if you've got a tent, if you've got drawer systems, if you're heavy, if you've got a six or seven inch lift and big tires, your center of gravity is pretty high. It is a reflex. When something is in front of you, the first thing you probably do is you hit the brakes and then you turn your wheel, but that could be really dangerous. You could end up sideways, you can end up rolling. So. That is the insurance and peace of mind that a, for a good front bumper will, will provide. You can also mount lights in these bumpers. Yeah, that's right. If you're out beyond the city limits, there isn't much light out there. And you want to throw as much light down the road as you can. So this AOE bumper has some pre-cut out so that you can mount any kind of light there. Some 9-inch rounds here, some 4-inch rounds here. There's a variety amount of lights that you can that you can throw on here, and um, maybe the maybe for you the more the better, maybe not, but uh, just enough to cast a light or send a light beam far enough so that if something appears in front of you, you can correct sooner. Now let's talk about D's. What about D's? What about D's? 
This is a rated recovery point. These are D shackles. There's a D ring here. If you're stuck in a ditch, if you're stuck in any way, whether you need a winch out or if you need to be pulled out or you are pulling somebody out, this is where you would want kinetic to rope. mount your kinetic ropes, your, your straps, all of that stuff. If you're by yourself, but there's plenty of trees, this is a cool tree strap. So let's say Eddie was the tree. Another thing about this bumper or a good off-road bumper is the winch. It's a 10,000 pound rated Warren winch. With winches, they're deceptively easy to use. You may think you're doing it right, but if you're not doing it right, it could be very dangerous. So this bumper comes with a space for the winch. My winch is Bluetooth. Here's the controller, hold it down and the blue light goes on. First thing I do is put the free spool. <laughs> and then attach it to Eddie. <laughs> Last thing that I wanted to cover was uh, just the aesthetics of this bumper over other bumpers. Um, I really like the way this is tucked in. Um, I know there are a lot of bumpers that are full coverage and uh, they kind of square up up here and there's a lot more bar work in here. But this is very minimalist. It's really just two bar, there's one hoop in the middle and then these two side guards for the lights. I like it how it angles out um, versus just the straight or the rounded part. Of, but it really tucks in, it's very, uh, it's very sleek, it's very low profile. Comes around here, looks like it's, it's rubbing against my fender. I don't have a skid plate underneath here. Uh, everything on an 80 is high and tight. It's all up there and even the, uh, the radius arms there are, are very rugged and durable. But that's not the bumper. And um, even the placements of these uh, recovery points, perfect, right out in front. Have I actually struck anything or has anything struck me? The answer is no. So in terms of hitting anything, landing directly, you know, falling off the side of a cliff and ha landing directly on your nose. Haven't done that. Where it's getting its most use is being able to mount a winch, uh, being able to be recovered uh, using these recovery points and uh, soon lighting here the nine rounds or the four rounds here. I like the look of the, uh, the this bumper, the toughness, like as soon as you got that on and I, the first time I saw it, it was it was pretty tough and I just I just I love the way that it looked. I do want to cover more about uh, winch usage and recoveries and rescues. I do believe it deserves a a full video treatment um, so that we don't get anything wrong because if you do something wrong it could be it could be very catastrophic not only for your vehicle but uh, people who are standing around. Hey guys and lastly let me know if you like this off the grid lock polo shirt. You can go to offthegridlock.com. There's other stuff. If polo shirts aren't your thing, check out this hat. What do you think? You don't like the polo shirt? We've got t-shirts. This one only comes in blue. It is the American flag. Check it out. But if you don't like this t-shirt, we've got my favorite. Comes in all colors. No, it doesn't. It doesn't come in all colors. <laughs> or if you're a woman, or if you know a woman, we have this. Or if you've got big guns. Oh my God.